Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the limits involving infinity. And one of the first things I want to say is there's actually two types of limits that could involve infinity. Okay, so let's look at these uh, one at a time. The first type of limit that could involve infinity is like this one on the left. Now, the way we interpret this is that x is actually approaching, say, infinity or possibly negative infinity. So the way we'd read this is we'd say the limit as x approaches infinity is L. Now, on the other hand, we might have a limit like this. Uh, what this one is saying is, you know, x is approaching a value like it normally would, but the value of the function is growing arbitrarily large or, say, arbitrarily uh, large and negative. So we're actually going to positive or negative infinity. And the way you'd say this one is the limit as x approaches a is infinity. Now, to really understand the differences between the, these two, uh, we'll look at some graphs and kind of see uh, what happens or where x is going in each of these, okay? All right, so let's start with this first one. Uh, I want to first look at what happens as x approaches a value, say, from the right or from the left, and the function itself is either getting large or large and negative. Uh, this is one of those cases where you can see that, you know, as x is approaching, say, either from the right side or the left side, the value of the function doesn't really want to key in on a specific value. It's, it's just getting really large. And it kind of depends on what side you are approaching this particular uh, value of a, uh, whether it goes to positive infinity or negative infinity. Let's go ahead and do this first one. So the limit as x approaches a from the right side. And let's go ahead and just label this as a. So we're approaching from the right side. I can see that the value of the function's just kind of hugging really close to it. It's going towards negative infinity. All right. If I approach that same value from the left side, now we're headed towards positive infinity. So this is one type of uh, limit involving infinity that we could have, where you know it doesn't really key on a, a specific value, but it just gets you know large or large and negative. Let's look at the other one. Okay, in this one, uh, we have our x's approaching infinity or negative infinity. The way you want to interpret that is we're either going really far down this line in the infinity direction or we're going far down the x-axis in the negative infinity direction. Now, for the particular function I've picked here, you can see that as we go in the infinity direction, the, the value of the function wants to approach this line right here. So maybe we'll go ahead and call this value b. So the, the limit as x approaches infinity of our function would be b. All right, now let's go in the negative infinity direction. So you can see that the value of our function again wants to hug really close to that line. So we would say it still approaches b. So the key difference is, you know, either the function would be going towards a, a value like this one or possibly going towards say infinity or negative infinity. Now, if you can use limits uh, using infinity like this, then you actually have a more precise definition of asymptotes. So in case you've never heard of what an asymptote is, we'll you know, kind of briefly explain them using these limits. So a line x equals a is a vertical asymptote if you have either of the following situations. So either the limit as x approaches a from the right is positive or negative infinity, or the limit as x approaches a from the left is positive or negative in infinity. So what's going on there? Well, you have some sort of line, and it's a vertical line. And this one is located right at x equals a. And we can call that line a vertical asymptote if we're approaching a from, say, the right, and we either go to positive infinity or negative infinity. So let's just go ahead and put something on there. Or if we approach from the left side and it goes to positive infinity or negative infinity. As long as we have one of those two cases, then I know I can call this line a vertical asymptote. All right, now if we use the other uh, limit involving infinity, uh, then we can get a horizontal asymptote. So a line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote if either uh, the limit as x approaches infinity equals b, or the limit as x approaches negative infinity is equal to b. Okay, so what's the picture here? Well, imagine a nice horizontal line. 
and this is located right at y equals b. So what this says is, you know, we have our function, the x's are approaching infinity, so we're going out in this direction, and the function wants to get really close to, say, b. Or possibly, our x's are going in the negative direction, headed that way, and our function wants to be b as well. So in that way, you can get a more precise definition of your asymptotes. In my next video, uh, we'll look at how you can actually find the value of these asymptotes, say by looking at the graphs or by looking at some equations. If you'd like to see some more math videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.